Hey guys, welcome back to episode 12 of Interview Fanatic. Remember to subscribe. Today we're going to take a look at Mars Toys, uh, Mr. W, otherwise known as Bruce Wayne. Uh, I did the Alfred figure that they came out with. Uh, I, I did the unboxing review of that a while back. Uh, go ahead and scroll through my uh, past videos and, and dig that one up. Um, it, it, it turned out pretty good. It's a few little notes that I, 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 um, I made about uh, some shortcomings, but otherwise a great figure. I anticipate more of the same with this one. I can't imagine there's too much to it. I don't think there's too many accessories to uh, look at as well. So this could be a pretty quick video. But let's crack this open and see what we got here. All right. So this is, um, I think, yeah, it's an unofficial, um, it's not officially endorsed by uh, DC or anything, um, or Warner Brothers, anything like that. So um, let's take a look here. Looks like the legs came off right away. All right. So uh, put the feet back on. Let's take a look at the head sculpt here. Um, I mean, yeah, I could tell it's Michael Keaton, but there's something a little bit off about it. Hmm. Can't quite pinpoint it, but it almost looks like he's slightly, slightly ethnic, like almost like an Italian version of Michael Keaton. But decent enough. It's got a bow tie on it. It's got this, uh, like this, this uh, waffle pattern in the uh, bow tie. The suit, pretty crisp. Um, not a super thin material, not a thick material either, so pretty appropriate. There's lining on the inside here, matching cummerbund to the bow tie, and then you've got this uh, button effect here. These are stick-on, I imagine, or glue-on. Um, the shirt does not open in the front, so it likely opens in the back. Um, the fit of the suit is nice enough. Maybe a little too loose, but passable. The shoes, um, I appreciate they had socks. So you got the socks there, and then it's got the, uh, the ball joint um, underneath here. And the shoe is um, a shiny shoe, not weathered, which it shouldn't be. He dressed pretty crisp. And um, yeah, pretty much it. Let's see what else this guy comes with. All right, so he's got a glass of champagne. And it's very lovely uh, pattern here, um, the sculpt of the glass itself. And the liquid looks pretty realistic. It's not hollow on the inside. And you've got some pretty delicate looking um, metal wireframe glasses. Absent of lenses, that's something I'd probably want to add to it just because if you're having it uh, displayed in a case, you might want to get that glare in the lenses from the lights that you're using in the case just to make it look more realistic. Uh, this, I don't know what this is for. We'll find out. And then looks like here... Let's see. Ah, so if you want to use just a, a solid black cummerbund and bow tie, you've got that option as well. I don't know which one is more film accurate, or maybe he did wear two different ones. And you got a variety of hands here. Six additional. Anything underneath? Yes. Ah, okay, so this I was not expecting. I thought it might be a trading card of some kind, but it's just a photo. Interesting. And looks like it's magnetized. Yeah. So this just opens up and there's a photo in there. I don't know what the significance of the photo is. I've never had that before. But I guess you would just display it like that. I don't know. Just kind of random. And then you've got the base. And it's got the uh, Batman logo, lo logo on there. 
And then it says uh, Bruce Wayne. And um, got this little protective sheet. I'll take that off. So it's not metal, but it, it looks, is it? No, that's plastic, but it looks, it looks like it could be brushed metal. So very nice. Um, yeah, it looks like this might be, a, this whole thing might be a sticker. This isn't um, printed directly onto the plastic. All right, let's uh, set this up and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so here's the figure uh, set up. Not much to assemble. Um, just had to put the glasses on pretty much. And I do like how they, um, they fit pretty well um, behind the ear. They, they, they conceal pretty nicely behind the ear. Some figures, uh, they just kind of, they, they bow out and, and look pretty funky. Um, but also because these are, are, are wireframe, uh, you can also mold them a little bit to tuck them behind the ear as well and hug the head a little bit more snugly. But um, great figure. Uh, once again, I don't understand this thing. It just, it seems, it, it's more like a, a, a large poster board that you would have on display next to a coffin in a memorial service for somebody that died. Um, I, I don't understand the significance of this, but I, I, you know, it's very nicely done with the uh, magnetic uh, plastic enclosure. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to give it a, 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 a 8.9. I mean, there's not much to it. Um, there's not much they could have done wrong as a result. Um, I appreciate that they have a, a, a upgraded looking stand to it. And I don't know, I could have done without the extra cummerbund and bow tie, but it's nice to have. Anyways, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.